Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So as part of this video, we will try to set up uh, SBT, which stands for uh, Simple Build Tool, uh, which, which will help us to build jar files out of the Scala applications. And uh, now let us uh, start with the setup of SBT and uh, testing it. So I am closing this tab which have download Scala. Now you can say install SBT and it will take you to the SBT official documentation and you can click on this and depending upon the environment uh, either Windows or Linux or Mac you can uh, choose um, uh, the appropriate link and in all the cases they provide zip or tgz file you can download the zip file or tgz file which is nothing but a composite tarball and uh, it's a very small file and you can actually unzip it and uh, up, update the uh, dot profile with the appropriate pass and all those things on top of that for mac they provide um, uh, executables also uh, download uh, uh, automatic downloaders uh, using mac ports or homebrew by running port command or homebrew command similarly on windows if you go to the next topic where it covers for the windows you have the msi installer and also zipper tgz and for Linux, again, there is uh, Zipper uh, TGZ as well as um, installations such as uh, installation can be done, uh, commands such as apt-get for Ubuntu and uh, uh, yum install for Red Hat. You can follow these instructions and set, it, set up the SBT, which is very, very easy to do so. And uh, here I will be using the port, Mac ports. So I have to run sudo port install SBT. And hit enter okay now it is downloading SBT and now it has installed SBT okay so you can validate whether SBT is installed properly or not by running SBT command it does launch SBT prompt here just wait a moment and it will come up it has come up and you can type help to see what are, level, what are the available commands you have in this. Anyway, we will not uh, use uh, the command line interface uh, that much at this time. You can just type exit and come out of it. So the installation of SBT is done. Now we will try to use SBT to build the jar file out of our uh, program. So for that, you have to stay in the uh, Scala demo directory, the base directory, wherever um, you are. And uh, you can see that uh, the target directory is created. This is created because I have ran the SBT command. And if you see, if you try to search in target, let me see what are uh, there in this. There is nothing in this, in it. It, it has just created the target because I have ran the SBT command to launch the command prompt other, other than that as we haven't done anything uh, uh, after launching SBT nothing is created in this target directory anyway so now you have to be in the base directory of your application so the base directory for my application is uh, this one users dgather do research live demo scala hyphen demo and my source code is under src main scala which is um, directory layout from this path okay ltr src main scala okay now to create a, a jar file i have to have something called build.sbt here and then go to my blog and you can copy paste this one i will explain each one um, each of these parameters in detail so name is to give the name to our application in this case i want to name it as hw and version is my application version and scala version is the version of scala that is running on this uh, mac and if i come out of it and if i say scala version you will get the scala version scala version scala hyphen version you will get the scala hyphen version so you need to have the valid scala version which is uh, which you have set up and which you have updated your uh, scala home 
okay uh, if you have multiple versions of scala uh, uh, you have to run this command scala hyphen version get the version and update that as part of the build.sbt otherwise you will run into some issues that being said now we have the build.sbt defined to build the jar file we have to say sbt space package and hit enter so it will build the jar file here there are not many dependencies so it will be very fast it will just take a moment to build the jar file now it has downloaded few uh, few dependencies which which is which are required to uh, um, to use core scala apis and now if i actually run the find command on the target directory you will see lot more stuff than uh, what we have seen earlier earlier there was nothing here but for us the only important uh, uh, things are these ones so it has actually created a directory called scala-2.11 it's the major version of scala so we have 2.11.8 so it has discarded dot 8 and it has created the directory with scala version in it and then it has created the classes directory and then you can see the required classes for our application okay on top of these things it also created a jar file and the jar file name is nothing but our application name which is defined as part of the uh, build.sbt underscore 2.11 which is scala major version which is passed as part of the scala version hyphen our application version okay so using this information it has generated the jar file now we can run this jar file in multiple ways either you can say sbt run staying here without passing the jar file because it goes through build.sbt and it can resolve uh, the uh, the jar file name and it will use that jar file to run our application and uh, perform uh, the functionality which is defined as part of the application and it failed in this case the reason is uh, we uh, we have modified our code to accept the parameters that's why it failed So we cannot run like this. So using SBT run we cannot run because we have modified the code to have the um, uh, to to pass the arguments and we are using that argument as part of our um, application logic, which is to concatenate the argument passed. But we can actually run using Scala command. We can actually get uh, go to the target and then. Uh, scala uh, hyphen 2.11 and uh, then hw the jar file name and then we can actually pass the parameters to this and it will actually run it without any issues so the jar file can be run e either by using sbt run which is not typical way of doing it it is just uh, we can use it for testing purposes before passing the jar file name if the if it is self-contained um, uh, I think, uh, 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 sorry, if you have to run the uh, application uh, by passing the arguments like this, you have to use the Scala command and you can pass the jar file name and then you can pass the parameters which the application is expecting and it works without any issues. Okay, so that being said, so Scala have two things. One is the interpreter. So when we actually launch the Scala and hit enter, it actually take you to the interpreter. And that's where you we uh, we can run the individual commands. Unlike in Java, where Java does not have the command line interface like this, uh, Scala provides you some uh, something like this and you can develop uh, code snippets um, by using typical Scala commands. And after validating, you can create the application okay um, and the same way uh, what we have done as part of this series and then you can actually uh, once you build the application you can uh, build the jar file and you can deploy the jar file which will uh, which is nothing but the uh, where the jar file contains the classes um, and uh, 
and when we actually deploy the jar file it will run in the jvm in the form of um, java bytecode so even though scala syntax and semantics wise it is significantly different from java programming constructs uh, still scala is executed as part of the uh, jre itself in the same form uh, called bytecode the way java programs execute that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you have to give the rating please give me the good rating or best rating or full rating uh, if you think otherwise please let me know the issues i will try to come up with the work around or provide the justification and based upon your satisfaction levels on my response you can give the rating which you think i deserve otherwise give me the full rating so that i can uh, uh, come up with more and more content like this over time that being said thank you bye